Let's get straight into the details on North Korea's missile launch. This latest missile flew over Japan and landed out in the Pacific Ocean and appears to be Pyongyang's response to the UN Security Council sanctions approved earlier this week. Let's hear more from our Defence Ministry correspondent Kim Hyun-bin, who joins us on the line. Hyun-bin. Uh, good morning, Mark. Uh, North Korea launched what we know now was an intermediate ballistic missile early Friday morning from an area near Pyongyang. As South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff says the IRBM was fired at 6.57 a.m. Uh, South Korea time from Sunan near the North Korean capital. And it flew over northern Japan and came down in the North Pacific. And as South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff says the missile hit an altitude of 770 kilometers and flew around 3,700 kilometers. Now, so on Washington are currently analyzing the launch to confirm what type of missile it was, uh, but many experts say the missile was most likely a Hwasong-12 IRBM. Now, late last, uh, last month, North Korea fired a Hwasong-12 over Japan, which traveled 2,700 kilometers and reached a maximum altitude of about 550 kilometers. Now, today's launch followed a similar path, but flew 1,000 kilometers further than the previous launch 17 days ago. Now, in response, the South Korean military has conducted its own ballistic missile training exercise in the East Sea. The uh, military fired at Kumu 2, which has a range of 250 kilometers. And the Joint Chiefs of Staff says the missile was fired considering the distance between the training ground and the Sunan airfield, uh, the origin of this morning's provocation. And North Korea's latest launch also comes four days after the UN Security Council slapped stronger sanctions on the regime for its six nuclear tests uh, conducted earlier this month. Now, I'll keep an eye on any updates and bring them to you during the next newscast. At noon, back to you.